Welcome to another teach tip with Mr. Long and we're going to be looking at another online whiteboard. Online whiteboards are great ways of projecting these websites or screens onto your projector or monitor in your class so that you can show more interactive things that you would normally put onto your whiteboard in your classroom. So this is Classroom Screen. It's becoming one of my new favorite online whiteboards. And you can literally go to classroomscreen.com to access it. Now you can create an account, which we'll talk about later, but let's try it for free. So I'm going to click on the try it for free option. And it creates this board that we can project onto our screen. Now, the first thing we can do is we can play around with all these options over here to put things on our screen. We call them widgets. So, for example, I don't want this background. I can click on the background over there. And I have a whole bunch of options that I can use for my background. Now, I'm going to choose one of these colorful ones at the back. By the way, you can use these lines options and these dots. This is very useful if you are projecting this onto an actual board that you can write on. And then you can use this as a template to write in between the lines or join dots or so on. So, there are options are there and there's a whole bunch of other options i'm going to click that one for now and then close and so now we can add things to our screen that will then be displayed for example i want to put a clock because i don't have a clock in my classroom so i'll use that and there's my clock i can resize it if i want to i can also come here and remove it by deleting it i can come here to the options over there to move it to the front or lock it in position or i can come over here to the settings where we can make it a 24 hour clock and we can specify the design of the clock as well and add alarms as well Maybe I want to give my students some instructions. I want them to know what they need to do for the lesson. So I can click over here for text and then we can enter in our instructions. So I'm going to type them in advance quickly. So I went and typed in the instructions. I use these options over here to do some settings. For example, changing the font size of that. We can bold and italic and so on over there. And we can create bullet lists over there. So we can even change the color of the text, adding links. So we've got all these options available to us and we can make it a bit bigger and move it to where we want on the screen. So I'm going to click over here, drag it to where I want. And then again, we've got those options with regard to removing it. We can go and move it to the front and so on. Or we can change the settings. Maybe I don't want the white background. Maybe I want a transparent background or some maybe particular color. So we can do that as well. And maybe we need a traffic light for some activity that we're doing. So we can add traffic light. Remember that there are layers. So if we want the clock to be in front, we just click on the options over there. And we can bring that to the front so that the clock is always in front. But if I click on my traffic light, we can click it like that and rotate it a bit maybe i want it like that and we can then click and say class you can go now and then we can tell them to stop using that and as i said we've got lots of options of what type of clock that we want to display it's a really cool feature maybe we want to throw dice and we're going to keep track of the random numbers maybe we're doing lesson on probability so we can come here and see what more widgets are available and you can see there's a whole bunch of other widgets that aren't even on the screen yet. Drawing, a QR code, stopwatches, calendars. But we want the dice for this case. I'm going to click on the dice. And so there's my little dice. I'm going to drag it over here. And we can say, class, we can roll the dice. And, and the number is a four. And if we want to change those dice, come here to the settings. And maybe we want two dice or, or a 12-sided dice, for example. So you can play around with that. So these are all the widgets that are available for you. Now, these are the selection widgets. Now, if I click on the little line there, that allows me then to draw on my screen. So I can pick a color and I can go, guys, over here, we need to go to this part over there. So you can actually indicate using some drawing options over here and even putting some shapes on if you want. Maybe we want to put a little block around something like, please, guys, you need to do that activity. And that's going to put a plain block around it, which is not what I want to do. So I'm going to erase that block. And maybe I should have picked the block that got a blank fill. That would have probably been the better one. And say, hey guys, we need to do that information over there. So there we go. You can learn about the different options. Go back to the widgets. And I said, you've got really useful tools that you can use for your classroom. And if you want to prepare multiple screens, maybe this is for the one class and you want to prepare another screen for another class, you can click over there and add a new screen and then add things to this one and then add another one. For example, now we've got three. And you can change between the different screens depending on how you pre-prepared them. Now let's talk about the pricing. The pricing is free to use all of these wonderful features of all the 25 widgets. You can have remote polling. They can only save three name lists, but you have access to so much to use for free to even try it out. But if you want to be able to save your screen so that you can prepare them in advance and prepare them or save them for the next year and come back to them, then you're going to need to create an account and you need to pay for those features. So there's a whole bunch of extra features that are available for just under $30. This is of August 2024. And if you're a school that's interested in this, you can probably get it cheaper if you buy a number of licenses. So per person, it might be cheaper. 
if you buy multiple licenses and you can go look over there so there's some really useful features there and i really recommend it so even just using the free version is very useful but i've got a funny feeling if you use it and you really enjoy it you might want to get in paid version to be able to save your screens and if you want to learn about the different options available as you see they've got lots of a library of ready made screens that you can use and they can learn about the different widgets over here and so here's where you can explore like what does that timetable widget do and you can come click here and learn about what it is and so on and so there'd be no how to use those particular widgets that is classroomscreen.com as i said it's fast becoming my new favorite online whiteboard i would definitely go check it out today if you don't want to miss out on another teacher tip, make sure that you click on that subscribe button and also follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. We also have other YouTube channels you can check on the main page right at the bottom. And remember to share us with your friends. And don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.